we're at the Pacific Science Center today, and it's not open yet. I don't know if, if I'm even going to go in. It's like 30 bucks, and there's a laser show, and there's like an IMAX presentation. Uh, there's one on like space stuff. There's one on like the Antarctica, and then there's stuff on like dinos. And uh, the, dino stuff, the dino exhibit, I looked online, it's faker than fake. Like super fake, like, like cartoon fake, like plastic looking fake. Uh, and uh, I just don't think it's worth um, the time. It's a temple though, and that's the biggest point I wanna make. There's a um, nice little park here and uh, it's early in the morning, so there's like all these people around um, getting ready for the day. It's kind of noisy, sorry about that. But um, it's it's definitely for children too. Like it's very designed for children. They always say like, we figured it out, we figured it out, we figured it out. Um, we never figured it out. What they did is they, they told you when you were little, we figured it out by putting the energy, by putting the movies in a big building like this, by putting it in a centralized location in a city. You guys all have science centers in your towns and in your cities. You, you, you don't have to drive very far to find these to, to find these temples, to find these experiences of knowledge, of to find these science centers. Science just means the experience of knowledge. And knowledge is supposed to be, you know, the explanation of what you see, what you feel, and what you touch and what you smell, the downloading of the senses, and then you put it together, and uh, it's the accumulation of your experiences. And then you can test it, but they're, they're going into knowledge of theory, and they're saying, oh, we found these bones. When they don't have any bones of dinosaurs, they don't have a fossil record of dinosaurs, that's just super fake and super phony. It's not too hard to get through the dinosaur conspiracy because they just don't have any dino bones. They say like the most bones they have of one dinosaur is like 3%, a 3% full skeleton. Well, how do you know the 3% is even, you know, dinos? It's just made up, man. And then you look at the exhibits they give you and it is faker than fake. It is replicas, but it's not even like good replicas it's made out of like plastic it's 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 not even made out of like paper mache anymore they used to be like pretty like kind of like what you'd call realistic and they're all just mimicking other fake animals there's one that looks like a giraffe there's one that looks like a rhinoceros it's a rhinoceros or whatever that one is um they all just look like other animals that we already know so it's just, it's just silly. So I'm walking up to this fountain here, and this is another interesting thing. This fountains um, resemble Atlantis. So I've been by the um, beach quite a bit, and I've been talking about tides and just explaining how tides don't work on lakes. They only work on oceans. Now the theory is that there is an ocean below us. We're like on top of something, and the... Um, Conspiracy theorists of uh, Atlantis and Agartha, the underworld. There's there's another system below us, and then we're at a system, and then there's a system above us. And these fountains, um, as you can see here, this is mimicking that. The water breathes in, and then it breathes out twice a day. And this these fountains um, are kind of... Now, they're using a ball here, but there's we, we're assuming there's some sort of magnetic mountain in the um, center of the Earth. But um, this is a popular fountain here um, in Seattle at the, at the Science Center. Um, and I believe that's what it's mimicking. I believe it is mimicking um, Agartha in the underworld. I'll take a walk down here. And what it will do is it will shoot out like a, um, like a crater. It will shoot out like, uh, what you call it, um, Yellowstone. Look. It runs a cycle, uh, just like the um, Great Fountain at the center of the earth. Now I'm planning a trip there. Uh, I don't know if I'll get there by summer solstice. That, that's kind of the plan right now, is to get up there. It's pretty close from Alaska. 
Uh, I'm gonna get up there pretty soon. This building over here used to be called the Key Arena, uh, Key Bank, and now it's the Climate Pledge Arena. That one's gotten really goofy, man. They really believe the religion part. That's what it is. People like, like don't understand it. Like, we see signs of like, don't be racist at a science center. It's like, what do you mean? Like, do you have racist problems at a science center? They have belief problems, and they, you have to believe the system, otherwise you're racist. That's all it is. We're at a temple right now. We're at a learning center. The Greeks had these. The Greeks had these uh, great buildings, and the philosophers used to go there and teach the truths of the reality. Now, were they truths of reality? They called it pantheism, all God in the one God system. And then the Greek philosopher would go there and explain to you the religion. They were priests. They weren't philosophers. They were philosophizing a religion. They were priests. And they were in temples teaching you about God, teaching you about creation. A God is just a creator. And we are managing the creation in a way to say we're gods. So we can have a great emotional experience. We can take the energy of the creation and then beam it on ourselves and have an energetic, emotional experience. That's all it is. That's all that's going on. And uh, people, some people aren't in it and they're like looking into it and they're like, it's fake. Other people join it right away. They're like, yeah, I, their subconscious just wants to be better than other people. And they're like, yeah, man, it's, it's true. It's, it's my religion. But they won't tell you that. That's the frustrating part. They won't tell you that this place gets tax money. You know, they get tax money. They're run as a nonprofit. And it's a church and it makes tons of money. And uh, it just kind of, I don't know. It's, it's kind of silly. It's not that cool. You know, children might think it's fun. But um, once you become an adult, you know, and this is a doctrination of children, of four children. They don't want children to learn birth, both sides. Children won't know that this stuff exists if they don't take them here. This is how they get you to energetically join to it. You go to a building, you go to a park, you go to a place that they have set aside to make Valhalla, to make the center of your belief and it lives in a temple it lives in a resting place it lives in a silly museum where they just have television because really that's all it is it's the people that figured out fake light they figured out how to make the television and then they control the world through the television that's all it is that's the pagan system we're under it's this reflection of light from a movie screen from a lens and a camera and then shooting light and then pretending to have everlasting life pretending to come back to life pretending they're gods and we go into a building to see science and then we just go watch tv we're just gonna go watch a movie <laughs> that's all that i'm gonna do when i go in there so i might save the 30 dollars and uh stay outside today and just it's a beautiful day so i might go in later but, uh, and I don't know if you're allowed to film inside. But I was in the area. There's the Space Needle behind me. Nothing to do with space. There's a really terrible restaurant up there. That's all there is. And it's not even a tall building. Like, you can't see the other buildings in Seattle. It's not even close to being the tallest building in Seattle. It's one of the shorter buildings in Seattle. And uh, it's, it was a bust from the beginning. It was a complete mess. Now, some of the stuff they build is cool. Some of the man's stuff they build is, uh, you know, interesting. And But that's all we got. This is the best we have. This is what we decided to do uh, with our time and with our treasure. And uh, it could have been way different, man. It could have been way cooler. But um, I think subconsciously people know what's going on. I think that's why people lash out when you say the earth is flat. When you say science is fake when you say dinosaurs are fake 
Dinosaurs are faker than fake. They don't have one full dino skeleton. Dinosaur erectus didn't come into the lexicon. It didn't come into the dictionaries. It did, the word just didn't exist till the late 1800s. It just did not exist. And then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, we found dinosaurs. And we're the people that own museums. <laughs> oh, how convenient. It's kind of silly. It's kind of silly.